Magnolia. So this is a porch. So you got this long porch here. I would probably do a nice step up to this porch and do a bigger deck in the back because this porch really is all you need. You can put some rocking chairs out here, a couple chairs and tables, a swing set, just whatever you like. So you got your front door here. Let's go on in and see what we got. Sorry for the noise. Ooh, she is pretty. All right, this is really farmhouse. So if you don't prefer farmhouse, just remember that the features can be changed when you order. This is the living room, you guys. That's the front door over there. Right away, I'm impressed with the beams. They're like a light color. Is that cedar? Not really sure. But normally you see the dark beams in the ceiling, but we have the light beams in here. So you have beams and trim in the same color. Love the light linoleum on the floors. This is a upgraded linoleum. It looks like hardwood. It gives the appearance of wide planks. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, when this home is put together, you won't even see that crease. So don't be turned off by that, okay? You won't even see that because there's a part that goes over that when they put it together. So in your living room, you got this huge, huge window here right next to the front door. Uh, you got a, you've got built-ins on either side of the fireplace. You've got your gas um, fireplace right there. And then your TV will go up there. Now you can't put a 70 inch up there, but a 55 or a 65, I'm sure, would fit in that space. It doesn't look like it on camera, but I'm pretty sure my TV could go up there. And so that's really nice. You got built-ins on either side. I love that they have the darker wood uh, for the built-ins. Really pretty, really, really pretty. And for the mantle, look at that. And it's not even. Can you see that? It's a curve to it. Really, really pretty. That is really nice. Really nice. You've got this wood look here. Again, if you're not a farmhouse, remember you can order this house like you like. You've got shelves on either side, plenty of space for storage, open shelving on the top, closed shelving on the bottom really pretty so again this is where the house meets when this house is put together you'll have the wood just like here you'll have on this side and then the beam that goes across so really pretty this house also has vents in the floor you can order it with vents in the ceiling versus the floor that's up to you you've got the can lights in the ceiling so pretty and let's not overlook this coat closet all right again you don't like farmhouse don't get these doors get the regular doors but if you're a farmhouse type of 
family, then this house is already ready for you. So you got a coat closet here. As soon as you walk in the door, that's a nice feature because you don't often find these homes. Oh, I love the feel of that door. You don't always find these, often find these homes with a coat closet. And this one is not in the utility room. It is right off the front door. Very nice. So let's turn our attention to the kitchen and dining room. First, would you look at all the windows in this dining room area? You got four windows over here, space for a huge table. Again, you can put your ceilings, your vents in the ceiling if you like. This home can be pre-ordered however you like it, you guys. So all of the space in the dining room, and then look at that island in the kitchen. Absolutely beautiful. I love how they have the galvanized look under the island, the same as the coat closet in the pantry. So you've got space for four, at least four stools at this huge, huge island. Beautiful, love the farmhouse light fixtures so pretty it looks like antique i hope it's there you go love it love it love it love it love it that's along that beam so pretty look at this island you guys all of this cabinet space now, is that for the microwave or is that just a cutout? I want to, I, I kind of think that's space for a microwave, but if not, you've got the open space right there. You've got all of this cabinet space and you have that drawer down there. This is a huge island. I also appreciate the fact that the cabinets are a lighter color, love the contrast. So you've got the antique white cabinets. You've got stainless steel appliances. Love the huge window over that industrial sink, that faucet. That's the faucet that I want. I love it. So pretty. You've got this dark wood, just like the dark wood. Uh, love the details. Just like the dark wood open shelving, you have dark wood here, and then you have the lighter counter um, over on this side. And it has backsplash, you guys. Look at the tile. This is real tile. So it might be too busy for you. Again, you don't have to order it like this, but I think it's cute. I love it. I would get this home with that backsplash. The backsplash runs up over the stove, up the wall. Love the hood that comes with this home. Really nice. Really, really pretty. You got lots of counter space, lots of cabinets. You've got a huge, a nice size refrigerator in here, stainless steel. These appliances normally are Frigidaire um, in most of the homes I go in, but the appliances in this home are Whirlpool. And you got the stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. So let's check out the pantry. So you got three shelves in here. And even though it looks like a regular pantry, I see that it has a little space. It extends on the inside. So you got lots of space in here, you guys. I think that's all the shelving that I would put in there. And you got lots of space for your food stuff and you can even store stuff under the bottom there. So really nice pantry. Super, super cute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's take a look at this utility room over here. So this is your utility room. You got your back door here, and then around this corner is where your washer and dryer looks. There's that galvanized look again. Super, super cute. It would really pop with your washer and dryer there. So pretty. You've also got space over here. Got an outlet and plenty of space. For a deep freezer, you can either put it here or put a tall one there. Really nice. Really, really nice. So lots of space in your utility room. Super cute. Let's scan this room again, you guys. Super, super cute. 
All right, so all of the bedrooms are to the right down this hall. <clears throat> You've got this long hall. Really nice. I'm gonna change my battery. I'll be right back. Battery, let's get to it. To the left, oh, that's the master. Let's do that last. Okay, we got guest bedroom number one. This is so cute. Now, this room doesn't have any carpet. That's the first thing, okay? So this is a guest bedroom. Now, I'm real confused because this guest bedroom has shelves in it, which, you know, may work for some people or maybe this would be a closet for me with lots of storage because, okay, so you got, I get, I get it because you can hang stuff up here and you can hang stuff up here. So you got, I guess it makes up for not having a bigger closet. It's a narrow closet, but it's got plenty of space to put stuff on the shelves and to hang. So good idea and make that may work. Or if not, you could take that bottom shelf out and just use the top one or I would have put it on half of it because there are some items that could be longer. I don't know, but it's up to you. Guest bedroom number one, you guys. This is a three bedroom. So this is guest bedroom number one. Really nice. Then you've got your guest bath. Got a transom window over the uh, tub and shower combo. Plenty of space here at the sink. Lots of drawers, got your cabinet and open shelving. And you got that shelf up here that's really deep. Now, oh, and it has shelves in it. Love it. A lot of times, doesn't have enough shelves, but I love that. You got three shelves. Okay, very, very nice. So this is the guest bath. And this is guest bedroom number two. So this is slightly bigger than the first um, guest bedroom. Really nice. And again, there goes the closets. All right, so they're, ma they're maximizing the space, you guys, because it's not a deep closet, so you have extra shelving. So it's really up to you. If, if that's how you want it, or you can take that bottom one out. But really nice. This is the second bedroom. So we've seen two bedrooms, one with carpet, one without, and a guest bath. So that is there. Guest bedroom number one, the bathroom. Guest bedroom number two has uh, carpet. Now this is the, across the hall from guest bedroom number one is your master and it has carpet as well. Really nice. All right, so we'll turn around and let you see the master. Lots of space in here. The master has that um, jewel blank havoc toward these homes. You know, the sliding door, it's here on the floor. I'll put the name on the screen. I've drawn a blank that goes there. Again, if you're not the farmhouse farmhouse type of family, then remember that all of these features can be changed to fit your liking. But this is the master bedroom. Let's take a look at the master closet. Really nice. All right, you got purse or shoe section or sweaters or whatever you like. You got closet space there. And you've got closet space over here. Ugh. Make it dark, but you've got space for your long garments and then space for garments down there and up here that extend all the way behind the door. You won't be able to see it if I close the door. You got can lighting in there and you've got adequate space. Like me and my husband, we could share this closet because there's so much space for stuff. Very nice. Master closet. 
And now let's go to this beautiful, beautiful bathroom. Now this bathroom is super cute, you guys. All right, you've got your double sinks there. The same sliding uh, doors that enter you have here. Under the sink, you've got shelf space for items that go behind there. And look at all the space, you guys. Look at all the shelving you got in there. Really nice use of space. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Really nice. So you got lots of space under there for all your stuff. Adequate space at the sinks. Look at those double sinks. You got two mirrors. Then you got more shelving over here with drawers and open space. You could really give this bathroom a spa feel. Really, I can see roll towels. I can see your perfumes and things on display. Really pretty. You've got your toilet closet right there and it does have a window that opens. Really nice. All right. You've got your beautiful standalone tub right here and you've got floor to ceiling almost floor to ceiling windows over the tub that is so pretty you guys that look right there is super cute that is sexy that's a sexy look look at the faucet now this actually comes off i've got a few subscribers joan bates this would be awesome for you guys for you with your off riders because you can essentially take a shower in here and not have to worry about um, not having something to hold on to. So really pretty. That's so pretty. And look at this shower, you guys. You got that big rain shower, shower head. Love the glass. Love the glass. Now that door slides. That door is heavy too, but because they haven't completely taken it apart, you can't move it, but that is beautiful. Love the marble in here. Really not nice. Love the tile, the marble look. Love the border they put in here. And with all the window you got in this bathroom, you also got a transom window. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful this bathroom is amazing love it love it love it love it really nice really really nice this is a beautiful home you guys this is a Fleetwood home I'll put all the information to this home uh, on the screen here I look for the price I've seen the price in some of the homes but not in this one um let me get the model number. This is model 44208. Um, beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. Some say life is boring. But I disagree I wake up and live my dream Someday soon I'm gonna make it Yeah All hard work's gonna be worth it Ooh Everyone who didn't believe it